Changes are coming to a dozen Go Raleigh bus routes starting this weekend. Those changes could create some longer wait times for riders. CBS 17's Judith Rotana getting answers about why the change is happening now. This empty bench along Route 24L is one of the reasons Go Raleigh is decreasing frequency to this line. It's actually one of 12 with low ridership that will have a change of service starting this Sunday. It's disappointing when you miss your bus. It's even worse when the bus doesn't show up at all. No bus has showed up um, during the 8 o'clock period. Or even the 9 o'clock period, I couldn't even get a bus till about 10 o'clock at night. Rachel frequents the 19 bus. It runs from downtown to Wake Med. Starting Sunday, it'll run every 30 minutes instead of every 15. It can be really an inconvenience for people. You know, people have places they have to go. 11 other routes will start running every hour instead of every half hour. Most other agencies had to cut back on their services earlier in the year. We've been fortunate to be able to hold out this long. It's a nationwide problem. David Walker is transportation manager for Go Raleigh. He says a bus driver shortage is behind the changes. Reducing the number of trips frees up 30 drivers to ensure no stop is missed. They're not first responders, but they are frontline employees that, you know, that we need to make sure we've got enough folks out there to, to take care of this job. He wants to hire at least 30 new drivers. To do that, he's increased wages by $2 an hour. They've also lowered the minimum driving age from 25 to 23. We did put January as our target to get back to service, but it all just depends on recruiting. Riders like Rachel are crossing their fingers. It goes well. I really don't have any other options right now. Bus, the bus is really my only transportation. If you're at your bus stop and wonder if you may have missed your bus, there is an interactive tool that allows you to track exactly where that bus is. I have a link to that online in my story at CBS17.com. You'll also find a full list of the impacted bus routes. In Raleigh, Judith Rathana, CBS 17 News.